Hi, Seekers. Welcome to Amanda's Life. You're new here. Please subscribe. You got your bracelet. Yay, Elizabeth. You love it? Oh, good. I'll be making plenty more. So, I went over to the Michaels today. Talk about a sale. Holy crap. All their storage containers. Anybody that does any crafting, check this thing out. Look at all those drawers. Oh my God. See the drawers? This is normally $42. And it was on sale for $14. Look at that. It's got all my beads in it. So now I can just pull out each one that I like. All you do is, I'll show you. Look at this thing. All you do is open this and then this lid comes open and you can pull out whatever you want that's got your beads in it. Each one's separate. $14, regular $41.99 at Michael's. We're having a big sale there. I needed this for just all my bead, my, my jewelry. I know, I love beads, especially stones. Stones are my favorite. So I have lots of stones. I have amethyst, tiger's eye. I have um, the rose quartz, pink rose quartz. I have hematite, I have lots. You have one of them too? That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. So I was organizing that, made the hubby a big spaghetti dinner, um, bleached my kitchen, like just a busy, busy person. <laughs> but it was a gorgeous day to take a drive. Sun was out, all the snow's melting. Oh, bless your heart, Hollywood, Holly. I had a really good day. Yes, I did. Whenever the sun's out in the winter, it's a very good day for me. So I got my car, took a nice long drive, went to the shopping district. All I Actually, all I did was go to Michael's. Mm -hmm. I did go to the Dollar Tree after um, I went to Michael's because they're having 50% off all their Christmas everything. And I just wanted to get, my husband loves candy canes. They were 50 cents a box. I got him four boxes. He was like, you got candy canes? He loves them. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> so I got um, Christmas. I got Christmas. And even uh, at Rite Aid, I had to go I had to go to Rite Aid too and they were having 75% off all their Christmas. These are Katie's favorite Christmas cookies. They were a dollar a box at Rite Aid. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate that. Here you are. So anyway, I'm not a big fan of the chocolate one. She loves those. I like the powdered ones. They kind of remind you of the round little balls with the powdered and the nuts in them. Yeah, they melt in your mouth. I like those, and then I like the um, the butter cookies. Thank you for the $1.99, Elizabeth. I'm glad you got your bracelet and you love it. Everybody um, freaking the sheets. Yours should be arriving in Canada soon. Everybody seems to get it, but gotten their bracelets this week. So I hope so. Kimmy, JB, I love butter cookies too. With like a cup of coffee. Whoa. Nancy, Gypsy, you had spaghetti for dinner too, right? It's winter, a little comfort food. I didn't have much because I don't like that feeling anymore of pastas and stuff. But I figured, you know, when in Rome, I made the spaghetti, might as well eat a little bit, right? Hi, Bill. Tango Bliss. Mikatan, Terry, Chipper. Signy. Ellen, Terry, Rebecca, not a Becky. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, so I'm glad I did it. I'm doing it, Shelly Ray. I'm doing an evening show, just Jamie, Cindy Hill, Sarah B. Um, I'm doing an evening show because sometimes people want to be here for the lives, and I want to make sure I do some evening shows. Hubby ate a huge plate of spaghetti. Now he's just assing out, you know what I mean? The spaghetti kicked in. It's been three hours, so now he's like, I'm exhausted. I go, good night.
But I've been twirling around all day like a squirrel, like a crazy squirrel. Hi, Oceana. So I organized all my beads, <laughs> made a big dinner, cleaned the kitchen, all the things that you do. And um, after this live, I'll go upstairs, watch my TV, and there you go. Hi, Charity. So anyway, I, I got a kick out of this today. Because, you know, when we do reactions, we don't obsess over anyone. We just love the content. And we start to love the character, right? There's no hate. We don't have real hate. Now, some people come in here and accuse us of it, but we can't help them. My little dogs are great. They've been running around. They got some turkey, little treats. And uh, now they're both asked out on the couch. There's Mr. Tiggs. Oops. Oops. We gotta shut off the aquarium. And little Mr. Jax, he's laying on the edge of the footstool. He didn't wanna, he didn't wanna get under a blankie, I suppose. Whatever. They were funny. They were, they were cracking us up earlier, being wild, cute, per use. Anyway, um, so, we don't hate on the people we watch. Even though we're accused of it, I don't really give a shit, right? I do things my way purposely because I can't feel any certain way about people on the internet. Now, their behavior can be obnoxious, vile, but when they're right, they're right, and I'll tell them they're right. See, we don't have deep-seated hate here. So if they do good, we praise them. They do shitty, we go, come on now. And that's why we have so much fun here, right? Now, there's a lot of people out there that don't like reaction channels. Then don't watch them. That's all I can say. I happen to like reaction channels because I like to hear people react to content. Did Michigan get hit as hard as Buffalo with the storm? No. Parts of Michigan did on Lake Michigan. They got hit hard. They got, I don't even know, five, six feet of snow, blizzard conditions, right? But nobody got hit as hard as Buffalo. No way. No how. Uh-uh. So um, we're melting. Well, this will all be gone by the weekend. I already see the grass. I'm so happy. You liked watching the Kuwait flat <laughs> tour? Well, our girl Shani, thank you, sunshine. I'm losing my voice for some reason. Um, who knows? You never know with me. Some of it's allergies when I'm cleaning. You, you, me, you, Miko. $2 super chat, silent watcher. I just adore you, that's all. Oh my God, I adore you. <laughs> Willie adores you. Willie's our mascot. He screams for super chats. So anyway, our girl Shani, yes, Buffalo just got their asses handed to him. I put some bobby pins in my hair, now it's pulling my hair. It rained in Vancouver and the snow's all gone. There you go, we got the rain coming and it will be gone. Right? So anyway, I thought we'd get a kick out of this. I thought we would get a kick out of this. I love my goat, too. Mukbangs are awesome. I really do. So here's our girl. There's Shani and Rev. Living the dream in Grandma's house. Oh, Uncle, just give them the damn house. Don't toss them on the streets. <laughs> Come on now. It's a new year. New year, new me bullshit. <laughs> Never going to happen. Yes, some people did die in their cars. Yes, they did. A lot of people, yeah, lost their lives. Kells Bells. 26 people in Michigan. Squatters never leave, right? Just give them the house. It's old as dirt. Who gives a shit? Right? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So, oops, let's put the volume on. Let's hear what Shani has to say. Got to wait for the... They're waiting. I straightforward have to say this shit. She's like, I straightforward have to say this shit. Well, I don't know if she was actually drunk that day. She had a, she got a bottle of wine, but I don't even think she drank the whole thing. I'm just glad Detroit didn't get much snow. The winds were bad enough. Isn't that the truth? Hi, Zoo Flute. She's not going to be happy like that. 
She's talking about foodie beauty. Look at this foodie beauty. Even Shani is worried about you. Shani. And look at the man next to her. Look at it. Everybody's falling apart. It is time for the glow up, everybody. It's time for everybody to glow up. Including you too. Freaking snowing outside. Ugh. I wouldn't waste my money. If you're going to send hot wings and spend that kind of money, make them edible. I mean, you would hate to spend that money and they just go in the trash. What the hell's she wearing? You never know, Shani. Yeah, I think at this point, Pete's is the only one not worried about foodie. He's probably enjoying his time alone. Wants no girl. No. Good morning, Carol. Rev, you're not supposed to be smoking in that house. You're going to get kicked out. Nope, doesn't look like Shani showered yet. She starts scratching her body. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Good morning, Snow Cream Queen. Good morning. Morning, Wanda. <clears throat> Were you watching Pete's making uh, meatloaf? Did you notice he took a casserole dish? To mix up the meatball instead of a meat or the meatloaf instead of a bowl. And of course, per usual, the onions were just big chunks. But anyway, he's getting better. And then he took it out of the casserole dish and put it into two little loaf pans. Those those stupid tinfoil ones. Uh, he didn't even like he didn't even like. Grease the sides. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. In olive oil. Morning, just opinion. We gotta talk about Foodie Beauty's apartment. But she got extra greasy today. She's gonna talk about Foodie Beauty's apartment. She watched the tour, just like the rest of the world did, Foodie. If, if you can call that an apartment. <laughs> too early for me to be on camera, so you do your thing. Okay, but yeah, it's just too early. Rep, it's just too early for me to be on camera. Uh, he's going to lay down on the other couch. <laughs> Sh I, Chantel gave ha almost all her kitchen stuff to Nat, but I don't know if she gave bowls. Who knows? Oh, I know. This cracks me up. Shani knocking on, a, on their living situation. Yeah, she just got out of a hotel for fuck's sake. Morning, Godspeed. At least the hotel had windows Morning, and a door. Drag. Oh, God. Dude, I... No, seriously. We gotta talk about Foodie Beauty. This <laughs> shit is like... She's not gonna be happy in that apartment. <laughs> There's no way she will be happy in that apartment at all. There's like barely any room in any of the apartment like her apartment in canada is way bigger like it's a two-story townhouse like you used to have owning canada is about as big as the whole apartment in 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 kuwait like i don't know if her hubby is cheap and all but like <laughs> I don't know if her husband is cheap and all. <laughs> yes, we know Foodie Beauty makes more money than Shani, for sure. I'll tell you, though, Shani fires up that cooking show again. She might actually blow Foodie Beauty out of the water with income. Uh, you're having a hard time with the audio? She, Black Ops says, cheap, Salas broke. Yeah, starting to wonder. Remember, she did a couple's, she just put up a couple's video. He took her shopping for hijabs and abayas. I'm like, yeah, but he's holding your money, so who really paid for it? Because remember that time she lied? She handed not her money and then pretended like he paid for something, but he really didn't. She, she fessed up later. How did Shani get banned from YouTube? Uh, 
said the N word. <laughs> Calling Dragnut the N word. I thought it was G Man, but it was Dragnut. She called the N word. We stand a morning queen. She got mad, screamed at him. Hi, Christy Blue. It's an upgrade from his last room. They shared a bathroom before. They're still sharing like, a bathroom. I'm telling you, all those light switches on the wall are for separate bathrooms in that hallway. I'm telling you, that's a communal bathroom. No, the bathroom, okay? We gotta talk about that bathroom moment. <laughs> Okay, the shower is literally, the shower head is literally on the toilet. So you could sit down on the toilet and take a shower. No, you're supposed to wash your butt with that hose. The shower head was way up above. Like, it was like 10 feet in the air. By the time that water even hits Foodie's body, it's already evaporated. The bathroom makes no sense. No, Shani, that, that hose attached to the toilet is a bidet. A bidet. It's where you wash your privates. In her apartment. Maybe, that's what she does. Maybe that is what she does. She takes a poo in the shower at the same time. <laughs> Listen, sometimes Shani can be funny. We know she's a broke ass bitch. We know she, her kids have been taken away from CPS. But let's just hang, let's just listen to what she says about that apartment. I can't, man. <clears throat> I can't, and, and 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 her kitchen is like just like just like a little freaking hallway. I swear to God. Sunshine says at least Chantel takes a shower. There's really no proof of that now that she's fully covered, right? We have no proof of that. I noticed that there's no toilet paper in the Kuwait bathrooms. You're on your own with a hose. What if somebody accidentally touches? Never mind. No way. I'd be out back. Sh I'd listen. I'd take the uh, elevator down, right? I'd go out back, find out where all the cats and the stray animals are shitting, and I'd hang out with them. There's no way. I'm too afraid of the hot water tank. Love grows best in tiny spaces, more like fights grow in tiny spaces. You need some space as a, you know. He don't live there, Shani. Come on now. Remember, he stopped by to say hi. That was straight out of her mouth last night. Nah. Nah, she, she's not going to be happy in that place at all. She has no space. I don't know how they dry after the bidet. I have no idea. Do you, what do you, how do you dry off after you've hosed yourself down? That is so weird to me. Because even people that use a bidet still use toilet paper. I don't know. It's too weird. I, I, I will never, ever go anywhere where that is how I would go to the bathroom. Hair dryer. I didn't even see a hair dryer in there. I did not see a hair dryer in there. There was a lot of personal things I did not see in that bathroom, like toothbrushes and toothpaste. So I think it's communal. She wants alone time. Where is she going to go? Nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if she wants some alone time? Where's she gonna go? Nowhere. Like, there's the gaming station, as what they like to say, and literally right next to it is the living room TV. <laughs> like, literally. And then, like, maybe a foot over that is where the couch is, and the couch is, like, taking most of the space of where the kitchen is. So it's like, <laughs> she's not gonna be happy. <laughs> Being in a place like that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it either. That would make me so depressed living in a, a tiny space like that. Like, I, I wouldn't want to stay in the apartment ever. It, it, it looks like... 
<laughs> I know. I stayed in an RV in Florida, right? And it was a small RV, but I wasn't ever in it until bedtime. I created a whole outdoor oasis, and that's where I was at. And I had a golf cart, plus I worked uh, 40 hours a week. So that's just where we, you know, we, we made dinner in the gazebo. We didn't even cook in the RV. We cooked out in the gazebo. Like, you have to create spaces where you enjoy space, right? Bad. It's so bad. <laughs> and you know she's not happy with it. No, of course not. You, you you can see it in her eyes. I'm sorry this video is short. It's like, yeah, it's because you have not much to show. Like, here, here's her bedroom. She just shows, like, a fucking wall in, like, a corner of the bed. We're not going to show anything else because we want our privacy. And it's like, no, it's probably if you turn freaking around, there's the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love when a complete wreck literally is triggered by another wreck this shit is so funny <laughs> that's all she's seeing is walls it's like she's in jail or something it would be more like federal prison because I heard that's what federal prison is like like it's just um, this like flat you get to stay in. I don't know. The Chrisleys would, would be able to tell us more. But I heard that's what federal prison is like. I mean, it's different than, you know, state prison. So in federal prison, you know, when the rich people do crimes, like Martha Stewart and the Chrisleys, they get to stay in flats. They can't ever come out and see their family. And they don't get visitors, I don't think. Or I don't know how it works. But anyway, yeah, they stay in apartments. They get TV and shit, right? So there's that. No, no windows. Bye, Bill. See you next time. Yeah, it's probably the door to the second wife's room, right? No windows. No apartment shame. And Ch Chantel will come to get me. No, man, I'm concerned about Chantel now. Why do these people say that stupid shit? How is Chantel going to come get Shanny? For real. And why do you people always say that stupid shit? Don't you talk about this? It's like, oh my God. So if I talk about the, the sister wives and what a narcissist, egotistical, misogynistic pig Cody is, you know, having his cake and eating it four times, right? And, th and then the wives do all the work, all the cooking, raise all the kids, and he walks around with his fresh perm every four months. Then Cody's going to come get me? No. You put that shit out to the universe. People are allowed to talk about it. Knock that shit off. She looks like... Back to the fun. In some kind of jail or something, dude. <laughs> like federal prison. <laughs> Sounds like a... Yeah, I know. There's no windows. It, it looks like a jail cell but with stuff in it <laughs> it's literally not, like just watch foodie beauty's video of her apartment tour it looks like a fucking jail cell yeah. i'd go crazy yeah me too i was claustrophobic i'd go fucking crazy no windows and if there was a fire like the thought of that propane tank the thought of a fire, like somebody else's apartment. Like, how are you getting out of there? There's not even a window you can jump out of. Oh, my God. There is not even emergency exits. Like, the code is so bad. Well, everybody knows that Chantal has more of a life than Shani. That's what makes this funny. Less to clean. There's that, but I... Oh... Less to clean. Like Shani or Chantel clean. <laughs> that was a good one, whoever said it. It's too small for her. I know she's not happy with it. I know it. I see it in her eyes. She looks almost embarrassed, and she should feel embarrassed over that. <laughs> I 
Remember when you two were in that hotel room and you were losing your ever-loving minds? Yeah, I'm sure that's what's happening to Foodie. And she's just taking out the frustration on the internet. That's fine. You can do that, Foodie. Just get home. Like, a place like that, just don't do a fucking apartment tour, period, yeah. with a place like that. Because you literally, like, put real bad concern in me. It's like, are you being, like, in prisons? <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so funny. <laughs> She's definitely bothered. Yes, I saw Rev on the news, yes. Meanwhile, Shani lives on a couch in a big house with an upstairs. But hey, but at least there's windows. I know, she turned on the flame on the stove. She clicked that thing on and you could tell the valve was still open on the propane tank, which concerned me because she didn't reach down and open the valve before she turned on the stove. Then it did that little poof flame, right? Right next to the cooking oil. I said, oh my God, I can't watch this. I'm freaking out. That's what makes this funny taking care of business that Shani has the balls to be triggered by the way Chantal is living. That's what's making this funny. It's deeply concerning to me. And I'm not trying to be a bitch about it. It's just like... It's deeply concerning to me. Like, like we got a new apartment. Well, that's... I wouldn't even call it an apartment. Well, she said flat, but... Like, <laughs> I, okay, the colors. It's gray, like a prison cell. It literally looked like jail. Yeah. <laughs> and Rev's over there laughing. That's what makes it funnier is Rev's laughing. I agree, Shani. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I'm home. I, I, I'm really like, I, I'm, I'm really worried about her. We all are. And that's the truth. The more I see, uh, the more I see her there, and the more the, her raging is increasing, her rants are increasing, her depression is increasing because she said she's, she's going through depression. Like, and she can't leave. That's what's concerning me. And the weird locks on her apartment is concerning. It's very, it's just strange to me. I'm sorry. But when she would get like buggy over at Nader's house, like when Nader would be asleep and she couldn't sleep, she would go home. And I see this to be what's building up to something. Yeah, and all the locks are skeleton key locks. You can't even break into those. Exactly, even if there was a fire. And, and does she get locked in there? Oh my God. No, she can't, because she has to go to the bathroom. Oh, her hoodie has her name on it? Yeah, Shani for Christ. Because it looks like a jail. Like, I don't know, man, if she can repaint the apartment. But I'm just saying, you look at Foodie Beauty's apartment and it's like a jail cell, but with stuff in it. <laughs> And I know she can't be happy with that. No way. No way. <laughs> she is just trying to make a bad situation seem okay. If you ask me. Now she'll tell you the opposite. And that's why we're waiting for her to come home. Yeah, there, <clears throat> there is no color of paint that will help that. No. I'd be chewing through the fucking wall and making my own window. What if there's no way to make a window? Because everybody's butted up to themselves. Because you see some other flats, like their buildings, and they have actual um, balconies where you can go out and, and breathe some fucking air. But this one doesn't even have that. Why doesn't Rev tell Shani to diet or exercise? Because he loves her the way she is. She's saying banana without saying banana, right? Right? 
<laughs> she could put giant mirrors on every wall. Get those those square mirror, mirror tiles and just turn the whole place into a fun house. Yeah, and those are some serious doors. Holy shit. Even the one to her bedroom. Those are like steel doors. And they have those skeleton key locks. And you can't break into a skeleton key lock. There's nothing any of us can do, I know. It's sad. Shanny, I make 90K a year and can barely afford a one-room house. Dude. If you make 90K a year and you can barely afford a one-room house, that makes absolutely no fucking sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Unless you're living in downtown New York. God, the shit people say. Shanny e-bagged for Shanny a pepperoni mushroom pizza. Mushroom? And she would come back on a live stream. All Shanny does this ramble and twist religion. All. I know. We know everything about Shanny. We ain't hug boxing her. She's just cracking me up. It's not. It's. 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 Yeah, she already cracked the bathroom tile. Where do you live, Valley Alley? If you make over a hundred grand a year and can barely afford what? Where do you live? It, it pretty. Listen, the income should match where you live. It probably opens onto an inside courtyard, possibly. Even if she did say she needed help, there's literally nothing we can do. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Shani's the pot. Chantel's the kettle. Oh, Seattle? No shit. They're ridiculous. Why do you think there's so many tent cities? I was watching a documentary on it. It's absolutely horrible. And then you get to walk out and step over top of people sleeping in front of your place. I'd move. There's no way I would do it. No freaking way. Oh, and then another one lives in California? Oh, yeah, try living in San Francisco or San Diego. I wouldn't do it. Not worth it. I want a quality. Of, I, I want quality of life. Yeah, I've heard it's stupid there. It's sad, actually. Imagine the fire department trying to get a 450-pound person out of there if they had to. The whole thing's scary. Maybe there are bars over the windows. Good thinking, real Viv. A dumpster fire laughing at even a hotter dumpster fire is pretty funny. That's what makes this funny. She's a homeless motherfucker, no job, no money. And she's over there worried. She's sitting there worried about foodie beauty being trapped in Kuwait in, in, a, in a federal prison looking sweet. This is gold right here. She already broke the bathroom fucking dials. No, she broke the drain lid. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, when she goes back, to Canada. Exactly, Pussycat. Pussycat said, Chantal will not make salad look bad. She won't, she'll eat crow. Yeah, she won't eat crow in front of Natter, yes. She won't say they fight, yell, or if he even hits her. Right, or even if he lives with her. He, she will never say any of that stuff until she has an epic meltdown. That's what everybody's waiting for. And if she comes home and she continues on with what she's doing and, um, goes back to Kuwait in March, then everybody's walking away. Foodie Beauty stepped in it, and she's going to have to hose her own foot off. True that. Next month, she ain't ever going back to Kuwait. I guarantee it. I don't think so either. I guarantee it. I don't think th you... There's thank no you. way she's packing that suitcase, going through the airports, taking that long-ass flight to go back to Kuwait. I don't think she's going back there. Yeah. There's no way Chantal will even admit if it was a big mistake. Nope. She's going to get high as soon as she gets home. I hope so. I hope she spills the beans. Loyal, forgiven, shallow, of thirst, a gift to If she ever wants to see that money again that she was making, she'll come home and spill the beans. <laughs> That's sweet of you. But I don't think she will. I think whatever she's gotten herself into, she's got to follow it through to the end. Uh. But the shower with the toilet. 
Don't you feel unclean? I would feel so unclean. Shani. You shout. I hate to point out the obvious, but you look pretty unclean right now. I mean, pot calling kettle black. The toilet. Yeah, I, she said that she gave her family the address. That's weird when you're in Kuwait. So something must be concerning. I don't know. I'm wondering if she just stepped on it and it cracked. I don't, I don't know. Guaranteed. You would have to ask her how she fucking did it. But, like... <laughs> She said they did not have a wedding ceremony. So there's that. It must be a your fee wedding. That's just a temporary. They say, I marry you, I marry you. And then they give each other rings and that's it. That's how they can hang out together. But as far as anything else, I don't think it's been consummated. I think it's just a way to be able to film together and hang out together. I don't, I don't, I honestly, in my opinion, I don't think he lives there. And that's just my opinion. Doesn't matter. It's like, you know, assholes that, you know, everybody has one and they usually stink. But that's just my opinion. The bathroom is the place that I went. Holy shit, it's a prison. <laughs> Rev. <laughs> it's a prison. It's like a janitor's closet. Yeah, literally. So you're talking about the bedroom window? Someone on the farm said that window probably just looks at the other building right next to it. I think it, listen, the one in the living room, she already said that it's part outside and part inside the building. So the windows weren't even lined up with the way that they made the building. It's weird. But the bedroom window that's covered, right? That one um, probably looks right in their neighbor's window. Um, when I looked at the building that I think it is, um, it is literally this really tall box. Bad for her. Like, is that how all places are in Kuwait? No. I'm There's a private di district that has beautiful... Actually, even I even looked in the city they're in, which I got the city off of not, um, Salah's friend when he put what city he lives in. That's where I got the city that they're in and found the apartment, furnished apartments for rent, and I found the building. And when I looked around that city, there are beautiful apartments with beautiful windows um, that are furnished. So it must have been a cost thing. That's why I think Foodie's paying for it. I do. So, so I think he's extremely cheap. Or there are rumors that he's married to other women. Mm. <laughs> Did you hear Rev? He goes, mmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and that's their place. He had to take back the mmm. <laughs> yeah, and he's got other places with other women. No, there were no closets anywhere. That's why I think that one space where the broom was leaning was probably some shelves where you could put your clothes, like a nook with shelves in it. Um, that I think that would have been the only closet or shelves in the whole place, honestly. Wow, well, maybe. Maybe that could be it. <clears throat> so I don't know the truth in that. It's just... It is yes, um, it is one of the richest countries in the world. It's the fifth richest country in the world. Dubai is like bank rich. Anyway, because they protect their countries from foreigners and people that are not nationals. So when you're not a national, like Salah, who's a Syrian, even though he was born in Kuwait, he's treated like a Syrian. They have to live in a different district. They carry cards, and that's based on their ability. Um, it, it, they're color-coded cards. I learned all about it. Um, so it kind of determines where you can live based on um, your contribution too. Like what work do you do? Blah, blah, blah. 
three wives. You know who else has that same system? China. I didn't know that. I heard that. Listen, there is a lot of, what do you call it? Behind the scene videos um, where people have talked about how they live there. Um, and wow, you'll never see that on TV. Yeah, you, you, if you don't work, you don't stay. You will be kicked out. Thank you so much for dropping the Cash App link. If you want to give a tip to the channel on the Cash App, every dime goes towards building Max the van. But I don't, I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. That is a cheap-ass apartment. Whoa. <laughs> I was wondering if she was a second wife or not. Well, it's like she's treated that way, at least. Like... I agree, homeless in America, that one wife is enough. Yeah. Too many people, man. Yeah, you see how that's working out with the sister wives? All you need was Sob and Robin to show up. And she's probably the only one that does the extra thing the other wives won't do. So she got ranked number one. And then she slowly manipulated her way um, into Cody into his ear where she made it look like the other wives um, were picking on her and they weren't. And she was a whiny little sobbing Robin. And now all the wives have left him. So there you go. He doesn't want any more wives now. He just wants Robin. He seems fine with it. He even told Mary, we don't have a relationship. So Mary left. Yeah, and then Janelle, she was the one that was the financer of everything because she's the one that had the lending ability, right? And uh, everything's in everyone else's name but hers. She lost out on everything. Everything. And it was all by design. She's the second and third. Or they don't I don't feel, listen, Elizabeth, I don't feel bad for Chantel because she insisted on doing this no matter what anybody told her and the warnings we tried to give her from the Canadian government about going to Kuwait and she may not come back. That's the only thing I feel bad about is she's that stupid that she may not come back. Where does the washer drain? Have no clue. And she was, oh, she opened the top one and said that was the dryer. That was the washer. The dryer was on the bottom. She don't even know. I mean, she don't, that was the dryer. The washer's on the bottom. She doesn't even know the appliances. Live together and she's rented for herself. Can she do that as a woman in Kuwait? I don't think so. What's the destination for Max, the van? To do a full build out and take some trips. And if my husband has to take a contract somewhere, um, he can take it with him. That's pretty much it. And when we go to move, it will be wonderful, wonderful to have Max. <clears throat> we don't have to stay in hotels. And we, listen, we go to certain places that are very expensive to go stay for a weekend and stuff like, you know, $400 a night and we have two dogs, so it costs us more and um, like $1,000 for a weekend. And we can take Max and we can plug in um, at a friend's house. At, we, can, we can go down to the beach, hang out all day with solar, a refrigerator, a toilet. Like we can do so many things with Max. We gotta finish Max in the spring. Max just got new tires. Max is gonna need the um, lithium batteries. We gotta put the solar on top. We gotta put in the fuse box. We got a lot more to do to Max in the spring. Yeah, she never looked up the conversion of her Canadian money either. It is not good. Foreign wives get the short end of the stick because they don't know better. Yeah, exactly. Like the toilet and the bathroom and the shower are like right there. Like the toilet. <laughs> and then the shower's right there. And I, I... Does anyone else feel the same way about the toilet and the shower? I it, it's, called a, it's called a wet bath. And old, old RVs from the 70s have wet baths. But 
they at least have a shower curtain to separate um, like the vanity area and everything off so everything doesn't get soaking wet. It's just so gross to me. And she's like, well, yeah, the, the, the water gets on the floor. You know? Ugh. Uh, yeah, because there's no shower. It's just the... And what would have been so difficult about putting, like when they built those bathrooms, putting a pan on the floor so at least the water doesn't go all over the entire bathroom and then you got to squeegee people's hair and oh my god that is so gross it's a faucet coming out of the middle of the room yeah and it's the floor is your shower like yeah. of course the floor gets wet i that's it was it's crazy I'll bet you can rent, um, like, you can rent nicer places that have, full, like, full amenities. That is more for migrant, migrant workers, non-nationals, Bedouins. We call that, they're called Bedouins. That means without, which means without nationality. And they just built cheap living. You can tell that it was shoddy work, and it's just to, to put people, right? Just to put people in them, pack them all in. And um, you're not going to get um, modern conveniences that the private sector gets in Kuwait. Because like we said, Kuwait is the fifth richest country in the world. Shady, why? I, I, I mean, if you can put Las Vegas dead center of a desert and create beautiful, luxurious rooms and suites and all this shit, you sure as hell could do it in Kuwait. She can't be happy there. I'm just saying she can't be happy there. No. She can't be. No. There's no way. I wouldn't be happy there. No. It's too cramped. Especially no. being, the saddest part is, especially being um, overweight. Everything would seem more confining to me. You know what I'm saying? Kuwait is the fifth richest country in the world, but you can't drink the water. That's because of the desert, the aquifers. Think about it. When you have a desert, just like Las Vegas, you don't drink the water in Las Vegas either. No way. Um, you don't drink the water. I don't even know if you drink the water in Arizona. I have no idea, but I know the desert, um, the aquifers. Well, we know why Kuwait's water is tainted because the garbage problem. They have 15 but they're not landfills. They just where they dumped garbage, but they don't process them. So they, they're closed and they just sit there festering. And I guess it's gone into the soil, into the aquifers. It, it is just a mess. I learned all about that, by the way. The toilet gets a wash and every time you shower, laugh out loud, just like get a camper. I do. Oh, you're right. Yeah, a camper. But a camper has division. Yeah, a camper has division. Well, my camper did. I had a tub. I had a shower. I had a toilet. Um, but the old campers, the 70s, they, a lot of them had the wet bath. So when you went in there, you showered right there in the center of the bathroom. I would never get one of those, by the way. I wonder what they pay in rent. Um, who? I know what they pay in rent. Because I looked it up. In the toilet, you got a shower curtain you can put over. Like, come on. Good morning, maybe. Some places I moved to in Mexico had wet rooms. Yeah, I can imagine. Can't drink the water there either. I'm surprised she even did that tour. Maybe she's trying to call out for help. That's what we thought. Yeah. But that's what we I thought. Th well, I thought the same thing. I even said it. Um, when I was reviewing the apartment, I said, do you think maybe she is trying to say something without saying something? Do you know what I mean? Like, do you think maybe like showing the weird locks and stuff, she was trying to say something? I mean, there's nothing we could do about it. There's nothing we can do about it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was meant for her parents. I don't know. And she goes and cry for help. Yeah. Like, we need to rescue Chantel. 
From Kuwait, man. You can't even rescue yourselves. Stop it. Isn't it true she can just get on a plane when she wants to? Not if somebody's got your passport and your money. Nope. You gotta wait until your tourist visa is expired. Then he has to let her leave. Period. He has to let her leave. Or she'll get deported. Pretty much. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. So that's supposed to be the case. She can leave anytime. She, she needs to go back home where <laughs> things are normal. That is not normal. <laughs> what was concerning to me is if she's there all day by herself, there's no food there. There, there there's no food. I don't know. Yes, exactly. The government property would government would see her as Salah's property. There is no rescue. Canada warned her after she left. I know. Yes, but um, he's holding her money for her for when she gets home, she said. What? Oh, my God. Enjoy living in that. No. I don't. I, I could, I could, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. The, the kitchen, the kitchen. There's a fucking gas tank in the goddamn kitchen. <laughs> right? A propane tank in the kitchen. Oh my God. And she didn't even open the valve before she... Turn the burner on, which means she's keeping the valve open. There's no sticker on it that it's been inspected. Um, you can't even fill a propane tank in the United States that doesn't have a sticker on it that it's been inspected. You can die in your sleep. There's no windows. There's no ventilation. Oh, my God. An actual gas tank in the... That is so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, when I saw the actual gas tank in the kitchen, I was like, that's a fire hazard. This is natural gas. That's how they... No, it's propane. That is not natural gas. Natural gas comes through a line from the ground. That was a propane tank. Want to know how I know? Because I had one. Do you know how many people have died in their campers because they didn't get their propane tanks inspected? And there was a leak and they died in their sleep. Like that shit freaks me. I know she almost blew it up cooking noodles. There's no smell for propane. In the U.S., yeah, we add the capucin. The capucin. And that's what gives it a rotten egg smell so you know. But there wasn't even a carbon monoxide detector anywhere. Anywhere. I didn't even see a fire detector anywhere. It is a fire hazard. I would have got an induction stove. Damn. No, I don't think it's like that all through Kuwait. Capsaicin. Capsaicin. I don't know what I, I said. I think it's a cheap fucking place. That window that's like knocked out. The and window the that's knocked out <laughs> with the, with the freaking blue, blue duct tape. tape. Yeah. Like what is happening? <laughs> the bathroom just needs a mini fridge and a window. Yeah, she had candles burning. There was no fire extinguisher, no carbon monoxide detector. There was no um, uh, fire, you know, the little, I got them all over my damn house, I'm telling you. If, if a battery goes on one, my dog loses his shit because it beeps at me. Not only does it have the battery in it, but it's also wired into the house. Smoke detectors. Um, there wasn't one in that place. Oh, my God. Or toward it. Yeah. When she gets back to the luxury villa, I have a feeling she is going to appreciate that place at least for the first week. More than she's ever appreciated anything in her life. And the ability to get in her car and just go mukbang her way through 10 fucking drive throughs And she's going straight to the damn dispensary. Clock that. 
This is, everybody, listen. We have to laugh because there's nothing we can do about it. And she denies all of it. So whatever. Oh my God, it's so bad. It's so bad. I would be so embarrassed. And she's got no food in the house. No food. You noticed that too, huh, Shani? No food. That freaks me out. When you have a refrigerator that is literally only bottled water and juice. Oh my God. I like her to post a video like that. That that. The no, like she goes to McDonald's and he's like, "You get salad, you get salad." Really, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Shani would have beat Salah's ass. Let's be honest, people. Let's be honest, people. Shani would have beat Salah's ass on film. On film. Forces her to get a freaking salad instead of regular McDonald food. Uh-oh. Well, she got that too. But he did tell her she had to get a salad. And I, I, like, woman, you don't, like, seriously, you can find fucking dick in Canada where you're... <laughs> so you're saying the dick ain't worth it, Shani? <laughs> you can find dick in Canada. Controlled. <laughs> like, uh, I know that's the life she chose, but still, man, she could do better than this shit. Yeah, she would have beat him with his own arm. For real. And, and let me tell you one thing. Shani is like six foot something. She got gorilla mitts for hands. One slap across the face would have knocked Sala right into a wall. I, I wouldn't even play with Shani like that. You know what I'm saying? It, that's how I feel, just opinion. There's no way a man is going to tell me what to eat. And I'm sure a lot of men feel like there's no way a woman's going to tell me what to eat. I want to eat what I want to eat. As Jason sits over there with a four pound jar of peanut butter, and that's his source of food. <laughs> no, she can't walk anywhere, Zoo Flute. You should see the neighborhood around the place. You wouldn't walk anywhere either. Nope. Oh my God. I've seen it, I've researched it. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. It's madness! It's confinement. Oh my god. It's madness. Scary. And I... <laughs> Shani, yeah. Zoo Flute said, why don't you and uh, Chantal do a wife swap? <laughs> oh, the propane smell is ethyl... Mercaptain. There it is. That's the word. Ethel Mercaptain. Ch Chantel can't, though. She wants the looks. That re that required going outside her country. She doesn't want a well-off man who looks bad. She cares about the outside appearance and flexing. Exactly. And um, whether he bullshit her before she got there or she he didn't show her what the area he has to live in really looks like. I don't know. God, you're on salad diet. That's you're on salad. Everyone calls me salad. As, as much as everyone calls me salad, you will eat salad. You eat salad because they call me salad. <laughs> you, you know she's coming back at you, right, Shan Shani? Shani don't care, though. Shani, Shani don't care. Shani really don't care. She's got some thick ass skin. <laughs> and then oh, I'm Nader just went live. His says, I'm starving. Let's whip up something. So he's going to be in there flexing that kitchen full of groceries that Dee Dee bought or whoever bought. I still think Nader has secret money. I really do. And I think that he, um, you know, if Chantal was willing to give him money, he took it. Um, so I do think Nader has secret money, though, to be honest. 
sad. Uh, well, I, well, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sad for Foodie Beauty because I, I, I know she's not happy. Yeah, Celebrity Juicer, we've all seen the little tiny cavity on the front. It's actually, um, it's between those um, two teeth over here. Yeah, it's getting blacker and it's spreading. So she could start having health issues soon if she don't take care of that tooth that's rotting in her head. She always says, they got a hot young man. I know that's all she cares about. She's flexing for Natter. This has nothing to do with anything except for getting Natter's attention, in my opinion. I know she's not happy. And it concerns me that he's <laughs> controlling her and every and a lot of people are seeing that. Chantel's not the type of woman you fucking control. She's not. She's Well, she is when she's in a different country. But when she's home and she's got her own car and her own money and she's not in fear of being somewhere where she knows nobody. So she's kissing everybody's ass over there until she can leave. For sure. For sure, for sure. To rebel. I'm telling you, she's going <laughs> to get to Canada and she's going to just go crazy as soon as she gets to Canada. Exactly. She's going to go wild. You're going to see Chantel in her craziest, wildest time. Look at the size of her hands. Look at the size of her hands. And you want to get slapped by those hands, that'll put you into a wall. That's a side of beef right there, babies. Free of that atmosphere of, of being, like, fucking conformed to what this man wants her to be. Can you imagine when she gets home? Whew. I'm telling you, man. Dunkin'? Yeah. Rev's hungry, Shani. He wants some Dunkin' Donuts. Speaking of eating, just cracking a couple of eggs I got from my chickens this morning. That's awesome. She made her choices just as you do. Yeah, but she doesn't need to live with those consequences. She can leave. Well, I'm thinking she can't leave or she would have left. I just feel like she has to fulfill something. Um, and that's why she hasn't left. Because we're seeing her alone a lot more often than we did before. Yeah. Feed your man, Sh Shani. Oh, yeah. And she's like six foot tall. She's a linebacker. I wouldn't fuck with Shani in real life. I'd be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What's up, Shani? <laughs> she can leave. You're gonna fight Those a women do yeah. Things. You know, you know, you know when you're gonna lose a fight. I might be a little faster on the feet than Shani, right? I might be, you know, zigzagging around her and shit. But if she gets that one big gorilla met with that long ass reach, she got a holy field reach, man. She'd slap me, it's just slap me into another dimension. So I know, I know when somebody can whoop my ass. I would hire her as my bodyguard. For real, for real. I ain't even playing like that. That's what I'm saying. Uh-oh. <coughs> I forgot I can't use my keyboard on Twitch. Only this. For the good good. Yeah, right? I don't know if she has her passport. I really don't think she does. And I, that's why I was like, because we've been saying, hey, when he goes to sleep, just fucking get an Uber. And go straight to the, um, and go, get, go straight to the airport and stay at the airport and go home. Now, all of a sudden, I'm seeing skeleton key locks on every freaking door, including the bedroom. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. Shani could be a bouncer. She could make bank. <coughs> She'd be just tossing people out of the bar, right? Just picking them up. Out you go. You would pay to watch me fight? I wouldn't fight Shani. I would jump on her back, like piggyback, and that would be as far as it would get. Because her hand, yeah, they're meat hook hands, right? 
Now, now if I were to fight, listen, if I were to fight Chantal, I wouldn't because she'd cry way too fast. But she got little alligator arms. You know, she can't even reach out, you know. Fucking Shani, are you kidding me? She can reach out and from the couch and open the damn door. Stop. Leave what girl alone to be published? She doesn't want what to be publicized to hundreds of Oh, geez. There's the Beezers over there. My God, don't you Beezers have a life? You go into every single... Anybody talking about foodie beauty? Anybody talking about foodie beauty? You know what, Beezers? Here's the problem. Here's the problem with you Beezers. You don't even see a potential problem. See, we're all working it out. We're thinking heads here. We got a thinking greasy head. We got a thinking clean head over here, Right? We got people, we got a French fry thinking it out. Everybody's thinking this out, even Celebrity Juicer, right? But you Beezers, you're running around telling people about themselves that talk about foodies content. Oh my God, put a pin in it, Misery Moo. What are you talking about? No, she hasn't. Foodie Beauty has not unprivated any videos. This would be, she's only got three days left before this month ends. And then we go to January and it's like for income. So what's the point now? She should have, hi Paula, bless your heart. She should have, she should have un, unprivatized all those. But she's in Kuwait. Her hands are tied right now. She's, they're in, that's what I'm saying. Here's one of many Chantel problems. She believes he loves her. No, she don't. She knows what she's doing. But now she's a little nervous because it wasn't what she expected. She's got to be depressed. She even said she's getting depressed. It's really sad, but we tried to warn her. What am I saying other than being like in shock over an apartment that she, like this dude is supposed to be making really good money and he gives her that shitty apartment? Right? When there's really beautiful apartments in that area, because I look them up. I look them up. And I'm like, well, huh. And she told a couple, listen, she told a story. Then she doesn't remember a lie. So what she said was, Osala came home and said, we're moving. Then remember when she said, when we looked at the um, flats, so wait a minute, did you look at the flats or did he come home and say, oh, by the way, we're moving? See, that don't make sense. Come on, man. That woman makes way more money than that shit. That She deserves a hell of a lot more than that shit. She makes more money than that. So well, what you don't know, Shani, because you may not have been paying attention... Um, she lost a lot of her income because she deleted a lot of videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Chantal's got the little T-Rex arms, right? I wouldn't even feel the air from that. You know what I'm saying? I'll just push her over, push her down a hill. Fucking shit. I know, here you are. I think so, too. Yeah, Chantal's gonna end like up on Dr. Up. Phil. I'll be the first one to email the Dr. Phil. Listen, if she ain't flying, if she ain't in the airport, let me tell you what, foodie beauty, you don't have to say banana. Because if you're not in that airport on January 28th, you know, wait till you get to Doha and then go live and tell us what's going on, that you're okay, you're on your way home, right? Get out of Kuwait first, go to Doha, whatever layover you have, right? Tell us you're okay, you're heading home, cool, we'll track you like Santa, like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve will track you. But if you don't do that, because we've did the calculations, you can only be there for 90 days. That means January 28th, from November 1st to January 28th. If you ain't on that plane, I'm getting a hold of the Dr. Phil producers. We'll do what we can do. She could probably afford something that's really nice. No, she don't have the money anymore, Rev. It's a really sad story, but I don't got time to tell it to you two cucks. Kuwait. Yeah, you would think I'm the type of American money. He won't. He won't let me use my money. She says that. Yeah, she Are did. Are you trying to break them up? 
I'm trying to make that girl happy and not miserable thinking she has to be stuck in a relationship with someone who really doesn't give a shit about her. Oh, boom! Coming in with the yeah, boom! Coming in with the boom. That's your wife. It, 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 that's your wife, and you're having her live in that. <laughs> nah. Well, you were staying in a motel, Rev. You should have went and got a job, so your wife didn't have to stay in a motel. Nah. nah, man. Nah, Chantel deserves better than that, man. And that's true too. That's the other scary thing. This is the other scary thing. Thank you for bringing that up of, of, of age homegirl, basic female. The problem is, if he has family in Canada, they will be keeping her in check. For sure. See, this is where it got scary. This is where it gets scary. She's obligated. She doesn't understand that there's dark things in this world that you don't get tangled up in. And, and, oh my God, I just can't even think about it. Oh my God, I know. And she has to wear those headpieces and stuff when it gets so freaking hot. I feel so bad for her. Yes, I do know that. But I don't think they're legally married. He can only do that if she's legally married to him. Um, is to petition the court to make her stay. Yeah, Justin Nugget believes that she's in deep now. Oh my God, that is so not good for her mental health. How do you really think that she should got broke? Threw it against the wall while he was gone and she was locked in like a federal prison suite. Yeah, it's not hot and quite right now, but she's still sweating with all those clothes on. Even under her eyelids was sweating doing the apartment tour. I feel tour. so bad for her. Huh, look at that. I don't know if he can petition the court if he's not. I don't think he would go anywhere near the courts if he's not a citizen. I don't know. It's all weird. You think so, Janet? Oh, my God. Don't even get me freaking out like that. Yeah, she's sweating with no windows. You've seen her in the villa in the winter. She had on her sports bra, right? <laughs> a fan going, right? In the dead of winter. Pete's over there freezing in his bedroom. She even had her bedroom window open. She'd get hot sitting in front of the computer screen heat. Whole, and now she's covered head to toe. I don't know what she wears when uh, she's alone, but dang. That, I would love that. I mean... That's a, that's a beautiful opportunity. That's a beautiful opportunity, but it's not at the right time, honey. We True. Can, we're, we're not going anywhere without the boys. I know she's an adult and she made these decisions, but she can also make the decision to get out of it. Can she, can she though? Did she possibly... Um, do a deal? Do, you don't know, Shani. She can't just... You could. You could Kool-Aid man your way through that door and just mow everybody down and go to the airport. Foodie's not built like that. She's just not built like that. Happy. And I see an unhappy Chantel who's going to... We all see that. But there's nothing we can do about it. We tried to tell her not to do it. She didn't listen to anybody. Even her Beezers tried to stop her. like crazy when she gets to Canada. I'm not kidding you, man. I feel that. I feel that, man. She's go Well, maybe not. Uh, because there are going to be people watching her, possibly. To just, woo! And you're going to go, you're going to see Salah go crazy on her. And it's going to be, it's going to be nuts, man. I'm, I'm reading the flood. Chantel didn't read the signs, the red flags, just like my nephew Billy. He can't read it all still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That person was so funny. 
<laughs> Chantel is just like my nephew. She can't read the signs. My nephew can't read at all. <laughs> That was good. That was fucking good. Oh my god, that was funny. Holy. What should she do to leave the first step? Go back to fucking Canada. <laughs> she can't. She has no car, no money. She can't go anywhere, Shani. Oh my god. And I can guarantee you, you know that movie, Not Without My Daughter, and nobody's going to help her there. She's not a national. They're not going to help her. It's that easy to leave him. Go to Canada. You're safe. You don't have to live in a place like that because you lived in way better place. Fuck. Uh, BB put you in a better place than that. Yeah, that. that Nader's that. place was better than that. Yeah, the trap house was better than that. Way better. Everyone called it the, um, the, trap. the trap house. The trap house looked better than that. Oh. I don't know, Sherry. I have no Why idea. Why do you show... I don't know if she detests me. And who cares if she does? Shani, Shani can talk about whatever she wants. Whoever's in her chat from the Beezer, from the Beezer community. She can't have kids. She's She had a hysterectomy. So that that that's at least a good thing is she can't have kids. She doesn't have to be trapped like that. Somebody goes, Chantel's a Muslims now. Stop invalidating her religion. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> that was in uh, Shani's chat. Me too, maybe. Sweet Pete is so sweet. Who do you prefer, Sala or Nader? Well, I, I can say this. Nader at least has a personality. That's what I said. Did, and Nader's all over the place. He's entertaining as hell. He's goofy as fuck. And even when he was with, when he admits to being with Chantal, he hugged her and he danced for her and he sang for her in the car. And I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm seeing some scary vibes <laughs> from Sala. I'm sorry. Just me. It's just me. Yes, Daisy. Ouch. From the mom who had them kids taken. Yeah. Good luck dealing with the mania though. Holy shit. Yeah, Nader has mania. Real bad. Yeah, he's calming down though, but Dee Dee looks exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rev laughs. Do that to you. <laughs> Poor Dee Dee. Can't sleep for shit. No, they're not supposed to smoke in the house, Toasty. In but the they do what they want. Uh, you yeah, poor Dee Dee. He's looking at his tablet like, oh, no, whatever. You know, that type of shit all night. Did he crude? He wrote a... I know, I don't see the fun Chantal anymore either. And the sad part is, she keeps going on to release all her frustration on the internet, and then people are going to go, fine, screw you, and walk away, and then we're not going to know what happened to her because everybody, nobody wants to cover her anymore. That's what's going to happen. Why would you push away the only audience you have, which is the reaction channels? You need to knock that shit off, Chantal. We're trying to save your life, you ungrateful bitch. Pete, I've heard that. Ew. I've heard that. Even Shani's trying to save your life, and she don't give two shits about anybody. And Pete's is just clueless. That's why I said at least Nader has a personality. I didn't say that he wasn't bad. Sweet dreams, Kimikaze. <laughs> she called me a racist child abuser, okay. She could go say that all she wants. I'm not, but okay. See, Shani don't give a fuck. She ain't gonna make a video about you, foodie beauty. Because she don't give a shit. 
Call her whatever you want. Jane, $40 on the super chat. Love you. I'm worrying about her still. It doesn't fucking matter. I'll keep you laughing. Don't worry about it. We'll be together forever. Thank you, Jane. Because uh, she's in a bad situation. I think she's in way over her head too, Cheryl. I And Foodie's becoming old news. Yeah, and... and it's it's frightening, it, it, you know, to me. I'm sorry, but I just, I get really weird instincts and I don't like that feeling when it's something like, I, I don't know, I can't even explain it. It's, it's an energy. And every time I watch um, her, I'm, I'm picking up her energy and, and I know she will, she will not tell you when things are bad, especially when she's in another country. She did that with Nader. You know what I mean? She, she would try to convince us he was just a great guy and he'd come on his channel and be all nice and, and um, you know, thank you very much kind of guy, right? And, um, and, and then we find out he was abusing her and nobody believed her because she wouldn't tell the damn truth. So hopefully she tells the truth or she's going to end up on her own in this situation. Yeah, she's telling the reaction channels to leave. Yep, so they're leaving. Yeah, she's definitely too scared to tell this time, is she not? Exactly. If Chantal doesn't get on that plane back to Canada on the date she has to leave, then we're going to be worried. Yep. I don't <gasps> trust people who smile and touch the sheets. Man. Rev, quit hitting that Delta 8 vape. <coughs> Whatever. I've been nothing but good to foodie, so... She, she can talk her match shit if she wants. She just doesn't know me. She just knows the shit about me that... that people have spread... Oh. No, you're the one that told the story crying on Twitch. We all seen it. You told the story. Don't change it now. Shit. Anyway. But look, everybody's back in your life again. Crude AF is in there. Frank. Um, Dragnot was in there. You guys all made up, right? And G-Man's doing you dirty. We know. We know. That's true. Yaba told her she was going to cry wolf and nobody would believe her if something really happened. Very true. You're going to pink sock yourself. That's a new thing. I, I never had that threat when it, as hard as I cough ever, so don't worry about it. Yeah, she has DC and eggs. They can rescue her. Yeah, it's not like they're using her for views or anything or telling her to push everybody away. So... If they're the only two standing, then we're going to leave it up to them to go get her. True, you have. Whatever we mention her, you are kind. Yeah, I feel bad for her. The woman... <laughs> it's like those overly nice people that you know are just fucking fake. Right. I get you there. Right. I'm not a big, like, um... No, I don't play. I Listen, I don't pretend. You know, but I wouldn't do anything stupid either. Like, like she did. But I'm just saying, I, I can't pretend. My, my pronouns are asshole American. There you go. Like it or don't. Don't really care. <laughs> mm -mm. Anyway. Thank you, Snow Queen. What I don't understand is why does Sala want her there until January? If the marriage is fake, that is what scares me. Is he's making her believe they're married. No, this is how I think it's going, Sassy Smurf. If you look up a Yurfi wedding, right, it is a temporary wedding um, until you can get all the paperwork. But what we learned was in order to have a real ceremony, they would have to get paperwork permission from Syria, um, for Salah to get married, even though he was born in Kuwait, they consider him a Syrian. So you know, how does this even happen? How can a Syrian... 
listen, maybe he's already got the paperwork already. Maybe he went and got all the paperwork. Maybe he was ready for this. That's why he was on Tinder looking for people in Ottawa. I don't know. Maybe the uncle already had everything prepped for him before he even talked to Chantal. So the paperwork might be there, right? From the family, you got to bring it all in, right? From Syria. The family may have done that for him. Um, and then they did a temporary marriage. Then she's got to have um, somebody to, um, she's got to have somebody represent her. I don't know. Maybe that's why her and Aunt Phyllis aren't talking. Maybe Aunt Phyllis said, I ain't fucking flying to Kuwait just to stand up for you. Blah, blah, blah. Who knows what's going on? Nobody knows. But he's, she's over there either trying to convince the government that they have a channel together, here's us together for three months, that's long enough, trying to convince Canadian government. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how any of this is going to play out. Show the house tour video. You want to see it? Why can't people be kind to me? Because, because of your kids, because of what you do to Rev, because of all the things you've shown on the internet. That's why they can't be kind to you. Just have that type of spirit, I guess, Ted. She's no There's norm nothing normal about that whole situation, Jane. None of it makes sense. None of it makes sense on how she could ever get Sala to Canada. None of it makes sense. And we already know she ain't going to live there. No freaking way. She thinks she can live six months in Kuwait, six months in Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, but you don't have the money to live in a nice place in Kuwait. So you got to keep coming back to that. I would never come back. Yeah. Even if it's all a facade, Scruffy Killer, what part of it is the facade? She's literally in Kuwait claiming, even if it is a temporary marriage, because if they find out that they didn't even do a temporary Eurofi, um marriage, he'll get sent to Syria. I don't think he would take that chance. So you tell me. what I'm interested in what part is actually a facade. I mean, she actually went to Kuwait. Yeah, the marriage laws are really strange because I read he has to be, I thought he was a resident, but everything I looked up said citizen marrying outside of, you know, like immigrants. And there was ways to do it, but He's using all her money. He has her bank card. Well, that's what people are saying. He's got her money. She did say he has her money and he's saving it for her. This is some weird shit. Weird shit. Man, I just like, I'll just say, look at the freaking video. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's his real name or not. I have no clue. You don't understand her attraction to Nader? I think she fetishizes uh, Ford men. I think that might be it. She wants something different in her life and she... she... I hope she has her passport too, but it doesn't seem like it. She would have been more like happier it. if she went to Denmark. I mean, she, like, she didn't even pull her because she goes, oh, my God, he doesn't have my wallet or my passport. But she didn't pull it up and go, you know, without opening it, my passport's right here in my purse. She didn't do any of that. She just said it. And we can't believe half the shit she said. Nader abuses me. Nader never hit me when she wanted everybody to like Nader again. He's never done anything to me. I was over-exaggerating. Like, she spins so many fucking stories. She is the boy who cried wolf. Anyway. She could tell Pete the rent's paid. Do you think Pete's is going to call the office and go, hey, is my rent paid? But I'll tell you one thing. 
I'll tell you one thing, if he gets a letter in the mail saying, where's the freaking rent? He's gonna be pissed because if you noticed on his live today, when he was doing the meatball, making their meatloaf, he had to keep pausing it. I think it was her. You know what I mean? I think it was her. He had to keep pausing. So something was going on. Because trust me, he ain't getting phone calls from people. I could make big bucks being a foodie beauty reaction channel. Yeah, my gut says she doesn't have her money or her passport either. I even said, um, because the way he controlled her channel and the clothes she wears and the way she's supposedly supposed to act, um, you think he's just gonna let her like disappear in the night and uh, get on, uh, get in an Uber and go to the airport and never to return? Yeah, I don't think so. And at, at this point, she'd leave her luggage behind if she wanted to run. She's a runner. She's the runaway bride. Yeah, and you also have then sold your soul because you become them. Maybe comfy. I don't know. She definitely normalizes it. Look what my husband brought home for me. A heart sucker. Isn't that adorbs? Me. Chocolate yeah. and peppermint. It's bad, man. A weird situation. I dropped it on it the It is camp. a weird, weird situation. And she deserves a lot better to... She deserves a lot better than to live like that. Yeah, I agree. Like, dude, you... you I would, too. I would, I would leave everything and run. I would have a secret... I would have a secret PayPal card or something... Square up my ass. But you have to have your passport. That's the problem. Or they'll call him from the airport and tell them, tell him to come get her. She's, she's, yeah. Oh my. Oh my God, that's Has better standards good. than that shit. Obviously. There's nothing better than Canada. chocolate mixed with peppermint. Whoa. Like the gas tank in the freaking kitchen. That is so dangerous. Do you think he locks well, I mean, locks her in when she when he's not there? I don't know. But those those doors were they freaked me out. Anything, you know, it's the same thing. It of should deal. be outside in case it explodes. You would think. Yeah, that propane tank should not be in the kitchen. Nope. Nope. And even when um, people I know went to a concert, and it happens all the time because people, young people, um, they had um, a camper and they had a generator underneath the camper and they had the fantastic fan on. So what was happening was all the exhaust from the generator was getting sucked into the trailer while they were sleeping and they all died in the trailer, in the camper. They all died. They were like 22 years old. That's how they do it there, obviously. There's other ways to do it though, Rav. No. You can get... You can get a two-burner stove like I have, and you get these. See these? So you screw them on, right? You take the cap off, you screw them on, you cook. When you're done cooking, you unscrew them, put the cap back on. Safe as all get out. This is way safer. You can still have a propane, you can still have the propane um, stove. You just have these. Then there's no risk. Thank you, Moody, for being a member for one month. Yes, it's been a crazy month, has it not? Only to get better. She did give, um, she did give copies to her family of her passport, you know. She did. Uh-huh. And the address where she's at. She needs to come home. She needs to come home and take a break from men and stop thinking about the D all the time. Get a fucking toy. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
She has one, and she left it on her bed once when she was filming, which was frightening as fuck. Oh, rabbits. Do you think she'll listen? Probably not. She never listens. But at the t same time, I, I see a woman who's miserable. Yep. I see her in, um, before she did this dumb thing, I seen her in a mental health crisis um, because of the Nader thing. And unfortunately, she ran instead of maybe getting some serious help. It's sad. Yeah, she is a she did make her own choice. Yep. Whoa. She is on Listen, she's almost 40 years old. Um, I wouldn't use them indoors, Zoo Flute, but I wouldn't use that big propane tank either. At least this one you could disconnect. <laughs> I mean, they don't even have ventilation in there. Oof. But there's a lot of people that do use them inside their vans. When they build, build out their vans, they use them inside their van. So I'm sure it's fine. I just choose not to. I'd rather grill outside. I've always been that way. So there's that. She's going to take it as an attack and go after my relationship with Rev. She can go try all she wants. Yeah. Nobody cares, foodie. Because you're all mouth. While you're, we're over here trying to save your life, you're just running everybody off. It's shot like everyone else has tried. <laughs> Anything's good indoors with good ventilation, right? Um, even like uh, kerosene lamps and shit. You still want ventilation. Yeah, butane is more stable than propane. Yep, yep. The, I trust these little cans. Because they're, I don't know, they're just, uh, they're harmless to me. But that big 40-gallon freaking tank she's got in her kitchen, that's frightening as hell. The hotel was a better living condition. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> He's like, I don't think so. No, no, no. <sighs> no. I don't think it's wise to breed in more trolls. There are too many. That's true, man. That is true. Don't worry about that. They can't run the internet. Lee, don't even worry about it. Say whatever the hell you want. God dang, I am so tired of hearing about this shit on every platform. They're 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 out there like um regulating your channels, your speech. Oh, screw that shit. It's time to cancel that cancel culture. On Cracker, how are you? People can say whatever the hell they want. Not no, that. I agree with that, Ted. Teddy! Teddy over there! <clears throat> That's very true. Did you see her video where she said someone was stuck in the elevator? Oh my god. Yeah, that was creepy. Ugh. No, I didn't. Someone was stuck in the elevator. Oh, yeah, because it had those elevator alarms when the doors don't open. Uh, that was freaky. My grandma and I were stuck in an elevator. She dragged me to Las Vegas when I was like 22 years old. I'd never been there. She dragged me there. And we got the elevator stopped, but it wouldn't open the doors. And my grandma was freaking out. I could not stop laughing. I'm like, you need to calm down. <laughs> she was freaking out. And I laughed harder and harder and harder. Eventually, I made her laugh, too. What is she doing with her life? Yeah, I don't know what what she was talking about. That was a red flag to me, too. When Chantal was talking about how scared she was to fly now, to fly home, because she's been watching flight simulators. Who has flight simulators? 
And where have you been watching those? She has no fucking windows. That is so depressing. A window in the bedroom, but they can't have it open. Yeah, they can't have it open. We have to keep the window closed. Like, oh my god. Like what? Nah. Nah. Nah, that, she, she's not happy. I guarantee it. She is not happy with that shit. There's no way. It's like he locked her up. Yeah, that's how I feel. It looked like a jail cell. You're right. Straight up, it looked like a jail cell. You can't say anything else. Yeah, why would you watch something like that when you know you're going to fly home for 14 hours straight? Why would you watch that? I mean, I watch Air Disasters but um, on YouTube, but not right before I'm going to fly somewhere. I'm not that stupid. Now you know why she wants to be doing vlogs all Yes, my dad has one hell of a, um, a flight program on his computer. He likes to fly places because he always wanted to be a pilot. So, yeah, you can get a good program, but it takes one hell of a computer to run it because it's like you're really in the cockpit kind of stuff. But why would that scare her? I mean, well, what's scary about a flight simulator unless, you know, you're watching air disasters? That's weird. Wants to be out of that place. Mm. Let's be anywhere but here. Yeah, exactly. There's just not enough space to breathe, man. Like I said, she's gonna go to Canada and she's gonna go bees. She's gonna bees like she's never bees before. That's what I said. I would have had a family come up with some medical emergency so I could go home. I, so I said that. Bad. It's going to be so bad, dude. I know it. I just know it. I see it happening. Watch it happen. Watch it happen. I've seen her, like, get out of these type of relationships and then just go, Wah! wild, man. She's going to beat her hardest. Yeah, she is, man. Man. I, I, <laughs> Probably. It's going to be nice to watch again seeing her bees. Like, hey, wow. Your husband's a pilot, and Moody, thank you for the four ninety nine super sticker. Thank you so much. Your husband's a pilot, and you hate to fly? <laughs> yeah, that's quite the match. I love to fly. My husband hates it. He hates it. He'll pop a, he'll pop a Xanax and just fold like a lawn chair. We just throw our luggage on him, and then we go shopping and stuff, and then uh, we drag him onto the plane. It's kind of funny be happy instead of this phony Chantel that everyone knows is fake. She has money from her channel, Ted. Yeah. No, she ain't. She goes into the extreme, I know. I see it happening. She, she's going to fake it a few times that she ain't getting the freaking THC, but you damn well know she's taking the medibles. When did she say banana again? Sassy said, Shelly, I'm be starting to believe that banana was for you to see. I never heard her say it like that ever. Yeah, because she, I seen where she was talking about like a favorite something and and she said, yeah, I love bananas. And then she said to Sala, you, do you like bananas? And I'm like, oh shit, is that our cue? But what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I know she's not in a free country. And that's the frightening part. Um, and I didn't like the skeleton um, key locks. And I didn't like the bedroom. You can lock it from the outside. She even said that when she did the tour. That's so weird. Locking it from the outside is so weird. There was a lot of things that gave me the EBGBs. 
And then every time she goes on and she's an asshole, I'm like, whatever, stay there. I get mad. Oh my God, when the fucking package of fucking ketchups went all over her face, that was hilarious. That was hot sauce, by the way, and that was funny. She hates bananas? Now you tell me, Dame. Oh, crap. Listen, I'm telling you right now. If she's not on that flight, her family's coming in hot. I'm sure of it. She gave them a copy of her passport. She gave the address where she's at to her family. She mentioned that, which was kind of gave me a creepy feeling. She hates bananas. Oh, my God. You think she's wife number three? Oh, my God. She said before, and I call it the religious arc, that she was running out of content. And not too long after that, voila, the religious arc and the hedgehog, and I'm working on change. Yeah, something's not right. Something's def. yeah, the new address. Yep, the new address. She had to ask him if she could give it to her family. So do we think she had edibles? No, definitely not. She'd be coping just fine. She's not, yeah. listen, she's not sleeping. She says her, listen, she even saying that her, her CPAP is not working properly or it's broke. And that would be a reason to go home. I got to go home. I got to get a new medical device. I mean, there's so many things that should have sent her home by now. I know she's pushing everybody away from her channel. Sala pushed everyone away from her channel. I don't know what's happening. And like, I just, I just know it. I just know it. She's going to be so hard and it's going to be glorious. You're going to be happy to watch her. Yeah. She, she needs, she needs to get out of that. It's very restrictive. It's so restrictive and, and you can just. Yeah. Know. The NBC can help you if you're not locked into your apartment all day, <laughs> which might be why they moved. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like something might've went down. Something might have went down. She broke the couch. She broke the shisha. Like, I don't even know what's going on, but we will not know because there's just no way unless she mentions. What if we had her mention something so off the wall that there would be no mistaking it? Right? Yeah, I know that truth is freedom. You can get drugs anywhere, even if they're illegal. But if you get caught with them in Kuwait, the prison time's no joke. It, it's longer than old Britney was supposed to serve in, uh, in Russia. Trust me, it's no joke. You don't want to get locked up abroad. No, thank you. You think so, Sassy? You were looking at her wrist and they looked red and scratched up? Now y'all making up shit. You're trying to make it so I can't sleep tonight. So anyway... T, I've told you a million times, I don't think he lives with her. I think he lives with his family. We've seen a kid in the room. So anyway. What could she say? There you go. She could ask Sala, has he ever played the game Let's say Uno. Uno will be the word. Hey, have you ever played that game Uno? That would be good. That would be definite. Have you ever played the game Uno? That's the word. It in her eyes. Yeah, it's in her face. Yeah. She's stuck at the moment because her car. You know when she ends her live. And then before the YouTube actually ends it, she always looks down like really sad. I've caught it like twice. She never told her bank about being abroad and was living off cash. Oh, oh, oh my. That was in Cuba, you dummy. Whoever said that in Shani's chat, that was in Cuba. She's already learned her lesson when she uh, went to Cuba. She didn't tell her bank. She was leaving the country. 
Yeah, you see her frown and look down, yeah. Trapped. <clears throat> she get trapped. Oh my god, she got trapped in Kuwait. Couldn't use her card as well. Like, I'm just saying, if you if you partake in the THC, at least be honest about it. Or you smoke cigarettes. Speaking of which. Oh my God. Even if she says it, what would you do? I don't know, but at least everybody on the internet would find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whenever you want to. I'm not forcing her. Her parents have her address. I mean, the best you could do is reach out to Ding Dong Pete's, tell them to contact her family, and have them contact the embassy. Because they have a copy of her, um, they have the address and a copy of her passport. Yes, there's a Canadian embassy there. I'm just showing you. I hope she learns a lesson. Hopefully. Well, it's like Shani said, you know, it's different if you create your own situation and you can get out of it. Like these two can get out of their own situation. They're in their, his grandma's house. The uncle's letting them stay there. Right? But if you're in another country that doesn't have freedoms, and you are now basically, you are literally there until you're allowed to leave or let leave. Um, and you're counting down the days. And then what if you can't leave? What, what if something happens and they don't let her leave or she gets so stressed up, she ends up in a hospital there. Like this is the thing she didn't think about. And people tried to tell her. And she just needs to just, feel comfortable with being herself. You know, that's like, that's really my main goal with people. Well, we know you're comfortable in your own funk, but the truth is it's, it's, she runs from problems instead of facing them head on. And, and we, even with the, the THC gummies, she was running from her emotions. So, that's why she acted out so bad in Cuba because she couldn't t have her edibles and she got drunk and she was just trying. Now she can't use anything in Kuwait except for a, some stupid tobacco, right? Which won't do anything for someone who's drank alcohol and smoked dope forever and done other shit. And so it was too late. Even if she realizes that she screwed up, there's nothing she can do. So this is the ultimate coping with yourself, trying to hold in your, your, your fear or your, or maybe she's just completely happy and we're all off base here. Don't know. Let's see what else you got going on in here, Shani. Hey, Rev. Thank you for the prayers, Snow Queen. That's very kind. That is. That's very kind. He needs prayers right now because he's down over this, man. Well, like I give someone everything you own. Now this, you know, let's hear what they say. They're going to talk about G-Man. Apparently, G-Man told Rev if he sells the house, he's going to give him 10 grand. Then he went and put conditions on it. Only if you do this, only if you do that. And if Shani doesn't apologize, I'm taking off. In fact, now it's 7,000. I'm going to take off another 500 a day. That Shani doesn't apologize to me. Blah, 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 blah. Well, now they're at zero. Rev's not getting a dime for that house when G-Man sells it. Now, that's really G-Man's prerogative, to tell you the truth. It really is. It's his home. They gave it to him. They went through lawyers. He got it, like, on the conditions they wanted to give it to him. But then they go and blow all that money, and then they decide that that house is theirs and they want it back. Well, then it, it don't work that way. He's the legal owner. But he did feel bad enough where he took care of them for two years. And then when he said that he had to have back surgery and he couldn't 
give them money. Well, he can only give them half what he was giving them. Um, Shani said, well, my death is going to be on your head. Like she was dying. And, and if he didn't keep giving them money, blah, blah, blah. So he got pissed off. And that's where it all started. But he still felt guilty enough that he was sneaking things to them. Right? Because that's G-Man. And then he cut them off completely when they got in a big fight. And then they really went at it. And then now, and then he still told, he still told Rev that he was going to give him money when he sold the house. And I still feel like he should stick to that, but it's still his choice. And the more Shani pisses him off, I mean, Rev's depressed about it. He's really depressed about it. We'll get, you'll get through this. Yeah, she did. She came to the internet and said that G-Man just signed her death warrant. Then she called him the N-word. Yes. Yeah, it's going to take time. Yeah. It's going to take time. No spicy pepperoni. You're not blocked. Her hair's always greasy. Life's a beach. Always. So sad. <laughs> you made coffee for the fam? Awesome. He needs hugs. Send in hugs. That's so I sweet. I know. All Shani has to do is just fix it. But Shani's stubborn. She will not. I'm telling you, she would rather sit and fester on that couch than fess up to anything that she lied about. She's one of those, for sure. Oh, bless you. Yes, Paula, it was called Not Without My Daughter. Aww. Yeah, Shani, it is your fault. You should have never, you should have said, you know what, G-Man, we're grateful for anything you give to help us. Thank you. Um, and no, I mean, so, yeah, if you, if you took advantage of me like that, we'd be done. 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 Thank you. Done. We both got six dollars for some coffee, I think. Oh, cool. Let me see. You get this. Can you talk to the folks for a minute? Yeah. Thank you, baby. What up, Rev? You looking? Yeah, you looking rough, Rev? Rev needs a Shibo in you. Yeah, the the Dogecoin little dude. No, that's not a do Dogecoin dog. The Shibu Inu, though, they're pretty aggressive. So, Shani would probably teach it to attack you so she wouldn't have to do the hard work. They're cool. They're cool looking animals. Folks. Folks. Well, I know they stuck G Man with a derelict house, but they gave it to him for a dollar. Would you take a derelict house in a really nice neighborhood for a buck? Fuck yeah, I would. And I'd renovate the whole damn thing. I'd redo the roof and the ceiling. Still only put in about 20 grand. And then turn around and sell that bitch? Hell yes. I would flip that on a dime. Folks? Yeah, what's up? Thank you for the prayers, Snow Queen. That's very kind. That is. There's, this, there's this big old four pounds of peanut butter. I love it. His he only food right source. Because he's down over this, man. Well, like I... Rev is down about losing G-Man as his friend because G-Man made him pick between Shani and him, and Shani made Rev pick between G-Man and him. So Rev really got the short end of the stick on this whole fucking thing. Yeah, the land alone's worth a lot of money. Own everything you own, and they stab you in the back afterwards over stupid, petty shit. Well, he didn't take everything Rev owned. You guys, you gave him all the toys for Delta 8. He was bringing you bags of Delta 8, right? And um, and you, you Shani, are the one that talked Rev into selling his, chi his childhood home for a dollar. So, sorry. Hindsight's 2020, isn't it? Just like Chantal over there in Kuwait. A lot of peanut butter left, man. Oh, gosh. Show us. 
Oh God. We're doing good. Oh. Sorry. Is that where your fingers are bent? You sticking two knuckles in there? That ain't the that ain't the imprint of a spoon. Oh God, no. No. I love you. I love you too. I hate that. I hate you get treated like this. I Hell, you treat them like that. Shut up. What I go through is nothing compared to what you go through, honey. Now, there's a relationship, Chantal. Two greasy bums sitting on the couch, broke as a bitch, and still loving each other more than anything. I'm just saying, Chantal, if you guys are going to put on a show, maybe you should take some clues from these two. I don't know. Nothing. Yeah, G-Man did pay the back taxes and did all the repairs on the house. Absolutely. I just have issue now with, with any kind of trust. It's like very... Oh, my God, you and me both. You know, Hemorib, well, thank you. <laughs> I've tried to exist. Yeah, if I were you, Shani, I mean, 10 grand's a lot of money. I would definitely, and it could change your life, right? Um, but maybe they like being like this so that nobody expects anything out of them, right? Because people will be counting where the dollars went for that 10 grand, wouldn't they? Because you know they will. But Shani could fix this. But these things, it, when you when you have mental issues to start with, and you and, and then you have somebody coming in your life and, and just cut your throat like that, it really... Well, it's it, like when you two idiots blew through all that money, got evicted in Colorado, drove all the way to Pennsylvania, and moved your ass into that house. Knowing you sold it to him, and he was your friend, you guys took advantage of him, too. You didn't even help him with the little things he was willing to pay you to help him. They, he just gave you money out of his check every week, and you did nothing to earn it. So don't even try that. G up works. It really does. He asked like, you to rake one day for a hundred bucks, and you refused to do it. So, you, you know what? You took advantage of him, too. You both took advantage of each other. You dealt with stuff, and you, like, added this, and, like, it, you, now you've made me way more insecure about getting involved with people. Oh, it's just because you wanted the 10 grand. You just wanted the 10 grand. You did nothing to help fix that house up. You sold it to him, and now you just want the 10 grand. Well, just like you guys wanted part of his paycheck every week, but you did nothing for him. You didn't even keep the house clean for him. He was getting ready to show it one day and you guys purposely made it such a shithole he couldn't show it. That was pretty shitty. He didn't even have to let you come and stay at that house. Just like your uncle doesn't need to have you stay in there. Like I just but his mom gave him everything so he's got that mentality. Mine, 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 mine. In my fucking house, man. I don't... That's not your house. You should have never gave your house away. But you two thought you were just going to be living the high life in Colorado. You didn't even care about the house. You didn't want to deal with it. So you literally, because you guys destroyed it by leaving the air conditioning on when you left and whatever else you left in there, you destroyed it. So what are you talking about, your house? You didn't want to even deal with it. You gave it to him for a dollar. You're like, yeah, get lawyers, whatever. Let's get this done. And then when you're down and out, then he's supposed to lift you up. And he did for two years. And it's still not good enough. I don't get it. That's how I feel. Yeah, period. Like the end of story. They're going to ruin un uh, Grandma's house, too, where Uncle can't even sell it. I don't know, Dre. What did Dre say? An $8,000 unpaid seatbelt violation. He says, uh, what do you think you, Dragnot said, what do you think you could have done better to help the situation looking back? Right? Well, they don't know, Drag, because both of them act like they're 
absolutely catatonic when it comes to anything but whatever bullshit they want to feed you. Other than that, they are dumb to the world. I don't know what you meant. What do you mean help? What do you mean? I w- what do you mean be grateful that he let me come back to my family home? Yeah, he was going to build an apartment for you two upstairs and let you stay in it while he rented out the bottom half. But that wasn't even good enough. You guys ruined the place. Crap. Nice. Mm. Nice, Snags. What did Nags do? Curtis Fuck said, did you hear that Nags has a $8,000 unpaid seatbelt violation? How the hell do you get $8,000 in seatbelt? What? Stupid son of a bitch. No, I don't, I, I, yeah, Snow Queen, like, I wouldn't, if I were in a, a mindset where I could be okay with doing something like that, I would, with drag, it'd be fine. But yeah, I just, didn't drag offer you some money to do something? Oh, that's right, um, drag not wants you to come up on his panel. And you guys refuse to, but drag not's offered to pay you to come up on panel and just be interviewed. That's a pretty easy job, Rev. Considering you're, you're not even a celebrity. Oh, no. You may look like a cracked out Peter Frampton, but you're not. Um, I want my mental health to get better, and then... How are you going to do that just sitting on the couch? Go check yourself in, dude. I've been telling you this for months. Actually, a year. I've been telling you to go check yourself in. And get right in the head. I can approach maybe talk to people about this stuff but my mental health is so bad it's my baby not i'm right so now. sorry no it's, it's you know, i don't you. like you feeling this way my lover i know but we love each other we get through things that's true we get through things together we do yeah wow you're 13 okay that's cool How are you guys going to get through this together if neither one of you are willing to work or go in and get mental health diagnoses, proper medication, and maybe disability? I mean, the longer you sit on the couch and fester in your own funk, um, if the uncle kicks you out, then you're going to be crying on the internet when everybody's like, um, like basically when we were telling Chantal not to go to Kuwait. <laughs> like, you people learn the hard way. And nobody's going to feel sorry for you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to feel sorry for you if you... God does for those that do for themselves. So before you um, write down any more scriptures that you've Googled on the internet and decided that this is what you're going to use as talking points for the day, maybe you should, like, follow what you're saying. Like, if you believe in scripture, then you should believe in how it works. God does for those that do for themselves. So go out there and do for yourselves. You'll feel better. Trust that. Trust that, people. Good God, how long we've been on here. Dear God, talking about all, all the crazy shit. I can't believe Shani and G-Man used to force Delta 8 on her and brought so much he probably was trafficking. I don't even know what that means. Shani said G-Man used to force Delta 8 on her. No. She used to smoke copious amounts of marijuana and that, that stopped her from dying, by the way, people. And then... She found out that Delta 8 was, um, somebody told her on the internet, well, you could smoke Delta 8, it's synthetic hemp. So she found it and decided that that was, ca- that was healing her, right? So then they would keep having um, G-Man go pick them up some Delta 8, but when you go pick it up locally, like whatever, the party stores or the gas stations, it was way more expensive than what he could get it for. Right? So he would just, he'd get it in Jersey and bring it down to him because he could get it way cheaper. And no, it's not illegal. It's not a drug. It's synthetic. If you can sell it in a damn gas station, right? Remember when they had to quit selling that, the basalt things? People were freaking out, right? Turning into zombies and shit. So they still sell it. I don't care if they say that it's illegal. They still sell it in the gas stations down by Detroit. But I'm just saying, like, how was weed going to kill her? No, all her ailments. Her ailments. 
weed was saving her life. Not a doctor, not MRIs and tests and medicine. The weed saved her life from cancer and I don't remember what other ailments, blood clots. Yeah, Shandy tried to say it was illegal there and he was traveling out of state for it. No, because he got... Listen, Rev, every time they get money, Rev runs and gets some. So there's that. <laughs> so it's, it's not illegal. It's just a synthetic hemp. She has crinkle heart, right. She has crinkle heart too. Yeah. <laughs> that woman's got everything. She's been living five years on her deathbed without any medical intervention. So she's a miracle. She's a walking phenomenon. <laughs> Speaking of phenomenon, uh, do you think uh, Foodie Beauty is in trouble? Anyone? Put a one in the chat if you think that she, I don't know. If you got a bad feeling that something ain't right, put a one in the chat. <laughs> here comes the ones. Yeah. yeah, here come all the ones. So we are picking up. I'm, listen, we're picking up what you're laying down, Foodie Beauty. We are picking it up. I've been picking it up for a while. I don't care what you say. To save ass, whatever. Cover your ass, save yourself. I don't care. Turn it into internet fodder. Right? I don't care what you say. But. Yeah, Uno. The game Uno. And then we may get a hold of Pete's. Right? Hopefully he don't play stupid or go into that funky weird. You know. Oh, come on. She said she was fine. I can't with Pete's. For real. I can't. I mean, I just can't with Pete's. There's gotta be somebody else. <laughs> there's, there's gotta be somebody else. It could be an act, absolutely. We don't know. Aquarium. Call the Funko. <laughs> See, none of us have any of that contact. We'd have to go through Pete's and say, Pete's, we're at a point now, Pete's. You're going to have to call. I don't know. Auntie seems all fun and games. Mom seems more serious. Like, are you kidding me? I knew she would do this. She seems like that person, right? So I would think we'd need to get a hold of Mom. Drader already sent a letter and nothing happened. Sent a letter to who? Moody, who did Drader send a letter to? He hates Foodie. <laughs> who did he send a letter to? Oh. Oh. You're on. Who? Bro, oh, Rev's uncle. We're talking about Chantal now. Oh, yeah, we don't care what the uncle does with them. I don't care if the uncle gives him grandma's house. I could care less, to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that Rev's mom was his uncle's sister, right? He's known Rev since Rev was in diapers. He knows how the mom treated him, debilitated him from being a functioning part of society. So maybe the uncle is just going to go, you know what? Fuck it. Who cares about them too? Nobody can do anything. You might be right. Here you are. Who did you speak to a few hours ago? Six drops? I don't respect going real, real life either. If there's a problem. <laughs> Willie did that on his own. Abracadabra, thank you. Did something happen recently to Chantal? No, we're just picking up little subliminal things. Just little things. <laughs> little things that just seem off. G-Man supposedly helped Shani and Rev, but at the time, 
Same time, even G-Man was enabling them. To, the Delta-8 isn't even... It, it's nothing. It, it, it really isn't. G-Man helped them for two years. And I guess he was supposed to help them for the rest of their life. So there's that. Yeah, she kind of showed us she's a little possibly locked up. <laughs> Locks on the outside of doors. Hmm, bedroom and house. You have to have the skeleton key to get out of the apartment. You can't, you just don't turn a handle and I'm out, right? It's a skeleton key. And then the same with the bedroom. On the outside. On the outside. Who wrote 911 in their thumbnail? Little things like writing call 911 in her thumbnail. Is this like a joke? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did she really do that? No, she wouldn't do that. Casala would see it. She's trapped like a rat. Yeah, that was weird. On the outside of the bedroom. Yeah. She even talks about it. On the ATV thumbnail, she wrote, call 911. That's right! No, skeleton locks are the hardest to pick. Does Salon know what 911 is? Maybe not. Yeah, the key's on the outside. Traveling that far by yourself is a bad idea. Moody can lock. Moody's gonna come to Kuwait and get you out of there. Go sit over there, Willie. You're getting on my nerves. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Listen, I'd have a pick and a chisel. I've been working my way out. But if he has her passport and her meat, financial money, holding her money, then uh, Roman was on today spilling decaf tea. Really? Kuwait is 112. <laughs> Only if you're in Kuwait, right? Yeah, 911 will not work if you're trying to save her from Kuwait. No. All right, so what are you saying? What Was Roman giving out any more nuggets? I wouldn't have gone in the first place either. I'm not that stupid. It's like Shani said, you can't get dick in Canada. Come on. I think so, too. I have a gut feeling, too, Cheryl. He's moved her deeper into Kuwait. Um, yeah, I, I, have, I have a weird feeling, too. What are Shani and Rev upset with Drag about? Um, because he lowered, if, well, he's got possibly a buyer on Rev's family home that, that you know, he got from them. And um, um, he was going to give him 10 grand when he sells it, but now he's lowered it to zero because Shani pissed him off. So there's that. <laughs> Guess you shouldn't have pissed him off, Shanny. Why can't you fix this? Now listen, Dragnot's gonna have, like Rev said, there's no way mentally I can go on Drag's panel. Uh, mentally, I can't handle it. And then people are like, what if we pay for you to go on there? And he said, well, you better give me a few hundred bucks and I'll do it. So people are gathering money to get him up there, try to fix this thing between with Dragnot, between G-Man, and um, Rev, try to fix this thing. Because, you know, it's like, it's a new year. Can we all, can we all just get along? Oh my God. Let's see what old Roman L. Roman's been running his lips about. What you been running your spaghetti sucker for? You better have some good info. Foodie Beauty is reporting Natter. Yeah, so? No, she won't. Roman, she just says that because she's mad at everybody and she's never going to report anybody. She's been saying that shit for three years with all reaction channels. She's been saying it about Natter. She ain't going to go back in there and make another report. The cops will laugh her out of there. They'd be like, oh, you again. What do you got to make a report about now? She done screwed that up. 
She's always screwing up her own shit. Yeah, it's going to be 2023 in three, three days. Now I got to learn to write that number all year again. About the time I get used to it, and I know what year it is, it'll be 2024. My God. Hmm. Chantal has no real power. Of course she don't. She's in Canada. You can't make, you can't make Yaba come to Canada over YouTube bullshit. You'd have to go to where she lives. Hillbilly country, as you call it. And you don't fuck with those people there, alligator arms and funkel feet. I had a hard time believing that her little funkel feet fit in a size nine, a size nine croc. Okay, my feet are at eight and a half. I'm sorry, do my feet look bigger than hers? I would think so. Mine are at eight and a half. And you're gonna tell me she fits in a nine. Oh yeah, right. G-Man, listen, G-Man made sure, cause he kept saying, no, no, no. I'm not buying the house for a dollar. No, no, no. And they're like, we want you to have it. And he said, well, then we're getting real lawyers because I don't want anything to screw all this up or our friendship. And they swore they wanted him to have that. And then here we are. So I say, don't do business with friends or family, right? Any kind of business. I always come back and bite you in the ass. Then everybody split up. Nine wide, easy as fuck. <laughs> Shani, Rev, G-Man, and Drag, each other in the mud. Still, they all have monetized channels and picking up memberships and super fast. Well, it doesn't matter about that. It's about, they could have had 10 grand if, they, if Shani just kept her mouth shut. So hopefully they get it all fixed, figured out. Let's see what old Roman's up to. I don't think Roman had anything new, but he was acting like he... He always acts like he has information. You know what, Roman? Spill that shit or shut up. He did say she was stuck there. She called him upset and freaking out. She probably thought because he was Moroccan, he could tell her how to help herself, but nobody knows. <laughs> He's a, you're always flexing in a bar, you skinny little rabbit. Jesus, Mary, with this one. Roman... Learn some camera angles, too. Clout chasing off of Foodie Beauty. And by the way, Foodie Beauty's always saying, everybody making money off me. You remember when you started your channel, Foodie Beauty, and you made all your subscribers and your money off of um, Amberlynn Reed? Don't forget that. You rode her back. You rode her back like a pair of wings, girl. Look at him acting important. In a bar. I got a question. What sweatshirt or jacket in the world has a zipper pull that big? Or is his head that little? That he has a zipper pull that big? Yeah, it looks like a cheap motel. He's in Morocco, of course. Always with the up, up the nose. Up the nose. Don't act like you're somebody important and we gotta wait out for the king to speak. I'll be out of here in a second if you do. Oh, dear God. What is with these foreign men? I fucking themselves. But why? But I, uh, I said, neither is it. Kus Ummak, yes. Listen. Yeah, he's, uh, I have something to tell you. All right, say it. Don't monkey around. Actually, Chantal. Hi, Susie. I'm good. Oh, here we go. You're right in the middle of saying something and you went to the chat. This is the same tactic Chantal uses. Yeah, he has cuckoo eyes. Chantal is, is lying. Chantal, Chantal is lying about reporting Nada about revenge porn because she can file a report online and she probably still 
loves Nether. She won't report to me. We already knew that, cuckhead. We already know she's lying about reporting him. She just said it for Sala's sake. She has no plans on reporting him. Hell, when she gets off that plane in freaking Montreal, where do you think she's going? As soon as she gets off that plane. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Even though she says... Blah, blah. What else you got? Come on now. AKA Foodie Beauty. She is not married in Kuwait. No shit. It's a lie. It's a lie. She's not married. And it's illegal for them to live together if they are not married in Kuwait. Unless they do a marriage of convenience, a Yurfi marriage. We already know about that. But we're questioning the fact that he's a Syrian. Can he even do a temporary marriage? Therefore, Therefore. Chantal said that she can't report Nader until she gets back to Canada and makes a report in person. That's another lie. That's a lie. Hi, Allison. She's reporting Nader. So that's a lie. She can... She can <laughs> this guy's intel isn't worth the weight of a zipper. <laughs> this is like this is like uh, hiring one of the Muppets to be CIA. I swear to God, uh, you can't make this shit up on the YouTube's. You guys, you can't make this shit up. This is so funny. The people of YouTube are freaking hysterical. She can file a report online if she, if she wants to. She, she, she could. Well, think about it, Roman. If she says, I got to get back home because I have police reports to file. These people are harassing me. They're trying to ruin our marriage, blah, blah, blah. This is her way to get away from Sala and get back home, Roman. Why do you think she's lying? Pay, pay attention, Roman. You're supposed to be team save Chantal. But here you are. Here you are at happy hour in some Motel 6 lobby. Oh my God, what are we gonna do with you? You brainiac. She could. The giant crayons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What else you got for us? What's it, Inspector Clouseau? What is this? Magellan, what are we listening to? Is this some secret YouTube CIA information? Everybody listen. Very much. Please subscribe. It said, thank you very much. <laughs> nothing there. We got nothing, Roman. <laughs> Pull that zipper down a little. It's really distracting me. <laughs> Hello, Listen to this. We need to have a little discussion about this because I don't think this is remotely acceptable. And the fact that you still have a platform when you are doing what you are doing is quite impressive. It is quite impressive. Especially when... To That's Omegon. So why is he playing Omegon? Avoid getting into further trouble. One... Why am I using Stabibi for content? Um, because I'm trying to expose him from who he is because I have... Why do you want to expose Omegon? He's put his face on camera. Have you not... <laughs> Why do you want to expose Omegon? That makes no sense. What am I missing here? Some information. Some tea to spill. <laughs> He's gonna leave us hanging. Uh, uh, Roman, 
Stay on track, Roman. When was the last time Chantel texted message, text message me? I said, it's not our subject. <laughs> Oh my God. I feel like I'm at the, I'm in this rabbit hole. I, it's a bunch of characters down here in this rabbit hole. And if I clunked all their heads together, it still wouldn't make one functioning brain. This is where I feel like I'm at. Somebody asked him, when's the last time Foodie Beauty has texted you? That is not the subject here. That's a very important question, Roman. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't think you should even try to expose Omegon or even tag him for views. He is huge. He can take your scrawny ass down even if you're in Morocco with six hairs on your head. Shave those, by the way. And then get out in the sun and tan that head. <laughs> Blink, blink, Roman. Didi another is friends with benefits only. Didi another or friends with benefits only. No shit, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. He has multiple partners. Everybody knows that. They're not getting married. They're never having kids together. Nothing of the sort. Roman, are you late for the party? Or how, f what is the delay over there? <laughs> Okay. Don't you wag that finger at me. You don't know. Now you know. What'd I say? We already knew. They're just using each other for <coughs> content. You don't even know. Yeah. Content? You think, listen, Nader definitely needs Dee Dee for his content. Dee Dee's already said that she knows eventually Nader's probably going to end up back with Foodie Beauty. Uh, I don't know where you've been. She's pimping for him, woman. She's pimping for him, woman. Um, we already knew that, too. She finds him women online. We know this. And he keeps getting in trouble with those women. That was like a year ago. Oh, man, you are lost. Let's go all the way here. Oh, no. Oh, no, another friend. Oh, dear God. There he is. That's not the one dude, is it? What was this friend's name? Please don't do this to me tonight. <laughs> what was his friend's name? Is it him? What was his name? <laughs> I can't remember his name. <laughs> what was his friend's name? Please, somebody put it in the chat. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anybody? E Eunice, thank you. Is this Eunice? It's my friend Eunice. Okay, wait. We'll see if it's Eunice. Does Kareem has a, has a smooth? Kareem, Kareem, can you get the question? And smooth. Does Kareem has a smooth? Cow. <laughs> 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 Who said that? Lean, lean the pegging smooth. Lean the pegging grandma. Come on, grandma. Oh, dear God. You always got to go live in a bar. Make everybody think you're famous. Hope you'll get a piece of ass. Maybe from Eunice. <laughs> oh, they're listening to love songs. Billy Kareem, crack a smile, please. Long day. Long day for Kareem. Oh, his name's Kareem. That's not Eunice. Eunice was the last time. This is Kareem. It's been a long day, he says. Smile, he says. Smile for the camera. He said smile, not put up a 70s peace sign. All right, we're out. We can't do it. We can't do it, Roman. We can't do it. It's been a long day, long night. You're just fucking around now. Oh my God. <laughs> Whenever I have to go over to Roman for any kind of intel, my ass takes a bite out of the seat because I know it's going to be 
<laughs> He's just going to be... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't, man. The YouTubes kill me. They crack me up. I uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, they play the Morocco's. And then there's Salah. He puts this arm behind his back. Happy birthday to you. And then Roman. And then Natter. He'd be dancing with the bread. Ooh la 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 lee. Ooh la 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 lee. I'm telling you, man. She could have a hell of a show. Just put all three of them in it. Good God. I can't with these people. <laughs> the bottom of the barrel, peep. The bottom of the barrel. YouTube's fun. For real. YouTube is fun. Oh, yeah. And tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to have more fun. I'm telling you. Kareem looked like a 70s Saturday Night Fever reject. Right? He looked like he come out of one of them movies. You know the guy. You know the one. The one I can't stand. He's so disgusting. He he was in that movie with uh, uh, Catherine uh, Heigl or whatever her name is. And she got pregnant from a one night stand with him. He's greasy. He's gross. He's got that curly hair, the big lips. And he's just annoying as fuck. Can't stand that dude. I can't remember his name, though. He's lost a bit of weight. He used to be fatter, but he's so sweaty, and that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> he was in that movie. I was like, bitch, I'd have never told that guy I was pregnant. Seth Rogen, thank you. Ugh. Knocked up, thank you, that's the movie. Celebrity juicer would know. I would never, I'd have been like, nope, <laughs> nope. 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 He has made the dumbest movies I've ever seen in my life. I know. It's crazy. That's what we deal with on the YouTubes. Mm-hmm. No, he's not Canadian. He's Moroccan. Moroccan Seth Rogen. Right? And I don't know what to do with Roman. Roman's just a little... Little bird on his shoulder kind of guy. I've got the T. Everybody. They're like, when's the last time Foodie Beauty texts you? That's not the subject tonight. That's a very important question, Roman. Roman. Pay attention, Roman. We don't want six months ago, three months ago, you know, gossip magazine. We we don't need that information. We needed that question answered. Oh, Seth is a Canadian. I thought you meant Kareem. We were talking about Kareem. Looks like Seth Rogen. Who was the guy she was going to meet in Cuba? Renee? Roman wants attention. I know. Roman likes to flex in the bar. I'm on YouTube, everybody. <laughs> Wait, I got to make fun of that zipper pull. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I can't with these people. Yes, it would have been a very important question since Roman claims to talk to her all the time. Do you see where it went south? Do you see where he didn't connect? That she, He's the one that said, she's stuck in Kuwait. You guys, stuck. She's stuck in Kuwait. She's stuck in Kuwait. Remember that video? He said stuck like 38 times. We go, we get it. What do you mean? She told me she's stuck. She's stuck in Kuwait. So then an important question. When's the last time you heard from her in text? That's not the subject tonight. What's the subject? You and Kareem at happy hour with an over-exaggerated zipper pull? What? That is the most important question. That should be the subject. But no. Not tonight. No. He wagged his finger at us too, did he not? <laughs> and then, here's old Kareem. I can't. 
I can't do the Roman thing. I get laughing so hard. I just go into a full set of comedy with Roman. I can't help it. I can't listen to him. He's always straight off the moving truck, right? Isn't that what he does? He moves people, right? Two men in a truck, right? Two men in a bobcat, whatever. Um, and, and then he goes to happy hour and he launches his YouTube career in the bar, but he's not listening. He's not paying attention. Do you remember his birthday? When he started drinking and he had on that game so instead of waiting for the game to end, that's all you could hear was the game and you just seen his lips moving, he was talking to you. But like, this is like me having the aquarium. Right? Everybody's going, turn the TV down, you idiot. And I'm sitting here going, only Roman, only Roman can't watch a game while he's live, he has the volume all the way up. <laughs> he is hilarious. I got to give him that. I can come up with a three-hour comedy skit over just 20 minutes of listening to him. I'm telling you, every time. I don't know how he's not famous on YouTube because he is just Roman L. Roman. <laughs> you think the Boxing Club episode was his finest hour? He is funny as fuck. I gotta be honest. I swear to God. This, I don't know where I bought this. Florida, I think. And I got on my tan tank underneath. But yeah, I think I got this in Florida. Oh my God. You just can't with Roman. Where did Roman ever come from? <laughs> really? Hold on, Bobby. Foodie Beauty met him on Tinder and their first date when she went to his apartment. She put him on YouTube. Him and his bird. Ever since then, she launched his career. <laughs> so to this day, she has brought us Pete on the YouTubes, Roman Mm-hmm. Nodder. Mm-hmm. Now, Salah. Thank you, foodie. We owe you. Big time. Big time. <sighs> Troll or just Roman? Huh? Roman is just Roman. I mean, there's no... There, well, Frank doesn't... I don't even know Frank has a channel, does he? Oh, S-Jam. Oh, yes, we forgot about S-Jam. But he was a Beezer. And Dee Dee, yeah, she inserted herself. But I mean, guys that she went on a date with who now have YouTube channels, who haunt us daily. Dee Dee was not a YouTuber. She just fought, was a member of Chantel's channel. Roman is... Roman. We don't call him anything but that because he's just Roman. Like you can't, it's like Tommy boy is just Tommy boy. There's like no words. There's no description that can take you from A to Z. Like Tommy boy, Chris Farley was Tommy boy. Well, and the lunch lady, I love that. Yes, all our Tinder dates have platforms except the married ones. Unbelievable. <sighs> That's all crazy. So anyway, I'm done. That was it for me. Roman twanged that, that guitar string on the back of my neck, and that was the last string right there. Just, he twanged it. Yeah, BB's the only smart one, right? But he hated YouTube even when she did it. She flexed with her YouTube with these men. I want a YouTube channel. The foreign men all want the YouTube channel. Yeah, in a van down by the river. <laughs> yes, he's now known as the zipper pull guy. Oh my God. 
All right. I'm out. It's midnight. We got to go to bed, people. Thank you all for super chats. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for having some laughs tonight. And thank you for my members. I love you all. Bye, guys.